Hello and good morning. So I've been talking about the binary game and also maybe the hexadecimal game to learn binary and hexadecimal. When I was teaching in high school, I would approve of these of the students playing these games because kids like to play games and rather have them play Grand Theft Auto or World of Warcraft. I would uh, encourage them to play the binary or the hexadecimal game. So let's look at the binary game. So let's click on play game. So what I need to do is figure out what 65 is. So all you have to do is add where these values are. So 65 would be 64 plus 1. I need to hurry here. All right, 64 plus 1. Oh, now it's 36. How'd that happen? So 36 would be 32 plus 4, and that goes away. So next one is 4, so I need to add 4. Well, there's only one, so this is easy. There's 4. There's 65. Where'd that come from? So 65 plus 1. Question mark. I have no idea what to do with the question mark. Oh, I, yeah, I do. Sorry. So this is 32, so I got to say 32. And then hit the check mark. This was 8, so where's 8 down here? 8. 128. Easy over here. Question mark. I need to add these up. So there's, whenever there's a 1, just consider that yes, zeros are no, or on or off. So I have a 1 and a 2 and a 32. So that's gonna, I got to add these together. It's 32, 34, 35. So 35. Very easy. 252. 252 is easy. All these. If these are all ones, it's 256. So it's easier to remember that 3 is short of 255. So if I take away these two, that means I'm 3 short of 255. Um, 6, easy. 255, all these all these together equal 255. If you know anything about IP addresses, you know 255 is the highest number. That's because it's based on binary. And it's 8 bits. All these turned on is 255. Question mark, what is this one? It's 128. I only have one doohickey over here, so 128. Check mark, 37. So 37 would be 32 plus 4 is 36, plus 1 is 37. This is all zeros. Confusing, right? Got me all confused. I don't know what to do. Well, it's a zero. 128. Simple. Board cleared. I'm just awesome. Another 128. 128. Check mark. Level 1 complete. That was easy. It took three minutes. I would just keep on going and just just be awesome and everything. So when I was teaching school, I would have to have students would have to complete level 5. The day we learned binary, they'd have to complete level 5. They would figure all this out within probably 30 minutes to 45 minutes they'd be at level five they would mess up somewhere along the line and not hit it and let's see so if i keep on going i could play this all day long but i'm not okay just one more thing here seven uh 248 actually that'd be like this 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 eight 63, 63 is easy. If 64 is here, that means all these previous to 64 has to be 63. See how that works. And 35. All right. Okay, board cleared. You're impressed. You get it. No more. Let me, how do I pause this game? I'll pause this game. Okay, I just wasted four minutes of your time. So the next thing we want to look at is hexadecimal. All right, so flippy bit, attack of the hexadecimals, base 16. All right, so what is? how do you play this? So let's click on it and play. And so we have this thing coming down, and it says 5, 9. So I need to, I need to come up with a 5, and that's not right, 5, and then 9 would be this, kaboom, and 3, 2. Kaboom, and then 9, 9D. Nine uh oh, that's a little bit harder here. Let's see. That's not D. Um, 
Oh. Okay, I lose. I just lost. All right. Who who knew what I was doing? Nobody, probably. And obviously, I'm not very good at this. I'm actually better than what you think. So let's talk about to know how to play this. You need to understand hexadecimal. So what is hexadecimal? Why is it important? So let's do a command prompt and ip config slash all. And holy cow, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So what am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at some other stuff here. So here, here's something called a physical address or the MAC address of my LAN adapter local area connection to. I got 9E, 6A4B, and it doesn't matter. The thing is it's hexadecimal. You notice that the highest letter is F, and the lowest thing in here will be a zero. There's no zeros here, none here. All right, here's some more hexadecimal. This is really long and confusing. So what is this? <laughs> This is IP version 6 IP address, 128 bits. That means 128, if this was binary, 128 zeros and ones. But if there's 128 zeros and ones here, how long before you would be confused about what you're looking at? Probably seconds. So what they do, they write this in hexadecimal. Each one of these little things is a 4-bit equals a 4-bit binary number. All right, four bits, and like here's an A. What does that mean? We don't know. Well, let's look. All right, sorry for that interruption. I had to close the door, and make it quiet in here. So getting back to hexadecimal. So if you learn binary and hexadecimal and learn how to convert those in your head really quick, if you learn to play this game or practice by playing this game, if you learn that before on day one of your computer technology career, you're going to like be so much farther ahead of the other kids or boys and girls or men and women. It's not going to be funny. So this could be a thing that makes or breaks a tech person. So learn this. Uh, you're starting an uh, A plus class, network plus class. Learn this stuff before the first day of class. Play this these games once a week just to keep sharp. You don't have to like play them for two hours. Just keep playing them so it's fresh in your head. And then when it comes to the point when the teachers are trying to explain this stuff to you and it's three weeks later and kids are still trying to get it, you'll you'll know. And then every time you're talking about heck, uh, IP addresses, MAC addresses, IP version 6, Anything to do with all any of that stuff, you will totally understand what's going on, or it will make the process of learning what you need to know in addition to the just converting that much simpler. So let's get going. So hexadecimal is base 16 numbering system. It goes from 0 to 15. All right. So you can't use two digits to represent a single number. You must use letters instead. So when we're what I'm talking about, you go 0 through 9, you're just fine and dandy, right? Well, remember, we got to go all the way to 15. You can't write the number 10 because it takes two digits. So we got to represent 10 with the letter A. we got to represent 11 by B, C, D. You get it until you take it to F, and then you represent that with the... Uh, well, 15 is represented by F. So what do we see? Hexadecimal written, MAC addresses, IP version 6, or whatever... You're going to see zeros through 15, and it's going to be up to 15. Let's talk about binary for a minute. So most of you students know we just played that binary game. We understand that it's 8 bits, so there's 8 little uh, cells here. And you, you start here to the right with the number 1. And if I go to the left, I'm just going to double every time. So 1, double 1 is 2. Uh, if I double the 2, it be 4. I double the 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So far, so good. If I were to add all these together, it comes up to be 255. So when you see a binary number and you want to convert that into a regular number, you just, so here's my binary number, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. When I want to convert that into a regular number, I just add whatever value is above it, I just add it together. So I had, and if it's a zero, I don't add it. I just ignore it. 
So I have a 1 in the 128 place. So that's going to be 128. I go over here. And then I have a 1 in the 1's place. So if I add 128 plus 1, it's 129. So the above would be 129. If I would t t turn that to a 1, now I've got to add 2 more to that. So that would be 131. I don't want it to be 131. I want it to be 129. OK, that was kind of easy and tricky. Imagine how much easier it would be if you only had to do four places. So once again, I start here, 1, double, 2, double the 2, 4, 8. So if I add these together, I'm going to come up with the number 15. Huh? 15? Get it? Look at here. We got 15. Starting to make sense now, isn't it? So if I have a hexadecimal number that is written like F1, 9, F, a little bit confusing again. Well, let's do something here. Let's just kind of separate these out a little bit. OK, separate those out a little bit. Now let's separate these out a little bit so we just can kind of see a little bit what we're doing better. All right, so don't worry about this being one 8-bit number. Let's do four at a time. So we have 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, so let's go up here. If we have 1s in all these, this is binary. If we have 1s up here, and for adding the places above this together, remember, we got 15, correct? Absolutely. We can't write the number 10 or, or 15 in here because it would look like this. And let's go back here. That would be 150. That's confusing. That's not hexadecimal at all. So what we need to do is make that F an F. So this right here is an F. That's this right here. All right. So the next number, let's say 001. So that would be up here. That would be 0. All right. So 001. If I add that, that'd be number 1, F1. So let's get that back. You get what I'm looking at here? So in hexadecimal, this binary number here, convert to hexadecimal, is F1. All right, got that. I didn't hear anybody object. So the next one is 1001. So I put 1001. Same thing, just add the number above it, add them together, and that will be your answer. So I got an 8, and I got a 1. So that's a 9. Very good. All right. Next thing I have is an F. Binary is all 1. Once again, I just I like those easy ones. So if I add these all together here, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8, that comes with me 15. Can't write 15 here again but I can write the letter F. So once again, we got 9F. Here's one. This one seems easy. 8 and 0, 80. By looking at that, 80 is confusing, but if you separate these out, it makes a little bit more sense. So 80 would just be 1, 0, 0, 0. All right, so if I add wherever there's a 1 here, add all those numbers together. If I got a 1 and 8 and there's nothing else, that would be 8. And there's my 8. There's my binary, and then simple one, zero. So if I add all these together, it's all going to be zero, all right? So I got eight zero. OK, let's play this game. But before we play the game, let's talk about the game. So what's going to happen, I don't know if it's like Space Invaders or something, these um, evil little hexadecimal things are coming down from the sky and they're gonna smash into you and just annihilate you I don't play video games so this might be based on something I have no clue about but what I do have a clue about is how to do hexadecimal so the first one here says 4 and C so what I need to do is is pop this up in binary to equals 4 C so remember we just got done working with these four spaces here so if I have a 4 that's going to be like a 1 and a 0. Just, and if I add those together, it's going to be 4. If I got C, I need actually to be 12. So to get to 12, I would need like 1, 1. So 8 plus 4 
is 12 and the rest are 0. So to get 4C, I would need to um, do uh, 0, which is the 8 place, 0, and then a 1 here, 0, 0. And then for C, I would need 8 plus 4, so I would need 1, 1, 0, 0. Now, you can't see me do that because this is a screenshot and I can't actually play. So then you have 1, 3. So you got to be quick. So let's cheat. Let's go ahead and I had to cough. So it's week, week 7 of COVID. I'm still coughing and wheezing and stuff. Oh, this guy, I'm going to lose here because I didn't know that was playing. So I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to have my numbers here. Let's go ahead and click start, and I'll try to explain what I'm doing as I'm playing. And I'm going to keep that over here to look at so I can cheat because I'm not very good at this. So I have three and F, so I need to do, there's three. Remember, I'm just worried about these four. And F, F is easy, it's all these. Kapow, nine and E. Got 9 for E. E is actually 14, so I need to do A plus this plus this. 14. E. I just, did, I just did this one, didn't I? E and C. C is actually 12, so I need to go kaboom. I lost. I thought I got that. It must be slow. By trying to explain what I'm doing, I'm, I'm losing. So let's try one more game. Uh, 5 and 0. That's easy. This is going to be 0. 5 is going to be 4 plus 1. 5, 0. E and 7. E is 14. Again, remember? It would be, um, the, wait, is that 14? E, yeah, uh, E7. So I got a 1, and um, actually it would be these 3. 7 it would just be these 3. E is 14. What did we say 14 was? It was all these. And then 2. And then 2 and A. That's 10. Man. It's kicking my butt. You got to be fast. So what you got to do over here, you, you really got to like memorize these. And actually what happens after a while, you'll just memorize. There's only uh 16 different combinations of this, 16 combinations of this. So you play this, you know, 15, 20 minutes. You start memorizing that perhaps, you know, right away like 15 would be all ones here. So if you get, and you get, if you get something like, let's say there's two Fs, F, F comes down, it's all ones here, all ones here. If you've got something coming down that's a zero or there's nothing there. It's all zeros. Those are easy. Got to come down that's a one. It's one here or one here. You guys get it? So remember, you're just worried about these four digits at a time, and that combines these into two. All right. I think you should have it by now. So play this game. Get to level 10. Send me a screenshot. And actually, here's, here's a contest. Let's make it easy. Get to level, I don't know if there's levels, but send me a screenshot of doing something cool, and then um, maybe I'll send you something, like a pair of test-out socks or something. All right, that's it.